Alright guys, welcome back to a new One Piece chapter reaction, here with me, I'm Luffy. Uh, <laughs> that rhymed, I did not mean to have, that almost sounds like a, like a setup intro, like I purposely did that, but I genuinely didn't, uh, that is just a red uh, introduction here. Um, actually, I say that, I do, I do really want to take a shower right now, but it's fine, you know, I'm recording a One Piece chapter reaction, I'll take a shower after this and then I'll feel really refreshed. Uh, and ready for tomorrow because tomorrow I have to wake up early. You know, I'm, re I'm recording this at 10 p.m. And tomorrow I have to wake up early because I have lecture at 8 a.m. So I'm recording this, taking a shower, going to sleep. Okay, so <laughs> uh, I don't know if you guys heard that. Okay, that was a motor motorcycle just, just speeding through the street. Nice. Uh, okay, so uh, we're in chapter 1128. Um, we're getting a chapter next week as well. Let's go. I'm uh, recording this on a Monday, so I hope you have a good Monday or Tuesday, maybe. Do I upload this right after I record it? Yeah, why not? Yeah, I'll upload this while I'm in the bathroom. Why not? While I'm taking the shower, it's probably going to be uploaded, sure. Um, and uh, yeah, we got a chapter last week, this week, and next week. So three chapters in a row. Let's go. Um, <laughs> I took my own one week break because I was so busy studying. I was actually busy studying right before I started recording this as well. Uh, well, mo Mondays are days where I have no lectures, so I try to spend a lot of uh, my Mondays trying to catch up on homework from either last week or trying to get ahead on homework this week because Tuesday is stacked. Okay, I've got lectures from 8 a.m. to 4 p.m. Okay, I'm stacked, and um, yeah. <laughs> and uh, Fridays can be stacked as well. Fridays got like four hours plus another three hours. But then, uh, yeah, I mean, it's complicated. But t Tuesdays are my most stacked days of the week. So, like, the those are the days that I'm like, <sighs> which is why I try to relax on Monday. Like, I have a free Monday, I guess you could call it, but I spend the Monday studying. I don't want to talk about this. We should, we should be doing a one piece chapter reaction. But, you know, Monday's the day where, like, I definitely, like, spend that time trying to catch up to my studies and or maybe even get ahead and then Tuesdays are like stack day or like I allow myself to not do any work of my own that sounds weird as in once I'm done with my Tuesday lectures I'm just like ah right, that's enough work for the day I've been here from 8 a.m to 4 p.m I'm done right I've got a headache at this point more than likely uh Wednesdays are fine Thursdays are fine those are like average length days and then I do some work on my own and then Fridays are fine, even though Fridays are longer than Thursdays and Wednesdays. But like, no, no. but okay, uh, one piece chapter reaction. Uh, oh yeah, I should also mention to you guys, uh, good news. Um, <laughs> Amin, Amin is going to Germany. I'm going to Germany. It's been confirmed today. Uh, I was told that um, I can do an exchange semester in Germany. Uh, I'm not. I'm not sure how much I want to dox myself here. <laughs> I don't know what I'm going to say which city in Germany I'm going to go to. But um, yeah, I'm going to study engineering in Germany uh, next semester, spring 2025. It's going to be exciting, but at the same time, I feel like it's like... <laughs> I'm, I'm here like, okay, it's exciting, but also it's going to be so much stress. I, I know it's going to be a lot of stress. It's going to be a lot of struggle. Uh, definitely gonna be putting YouTube in the back burner, right? If, if, if I really won't have time to do One Piece chapter reactions, I'll have to like span them just like I did this summer uh, when I came back from Egypt. So I'm gonna have to do that. But uh, it's gonna be a lot of stress finding subjects. Uh, gonna put some effort. I'll try, we'll see, try to put some effort into learning the German language. If any Germans are watching this, hello, by the way. Um, <laughs> Please help me teach the German language, or uh, teach me the German language. Now nah, I'm joking. Um, but um, uh, you're gonna have to put some effort into doing that. I'm gonna have to put some effort into like finding a place to live for those couple of months that I'm gonna be there. And yeah, just in general, the subject's gonna be a big change of pace. There's gonna be there's gonna be a lot of things I'm gonna be dealing with, a lot of different headaches. Um, it, it's one of those things where. I, I, I really want to take the opportunity because the opportunity has presented itself. I can go on an exchange semester. And now I've, I, I've, I've given my message to the German university. They've accepted me. They've said, yes, you can come in. You can take a semester out here. 
I've taken that opportunity. So at this point, the rest is up to me to like put in the effort in. And I know it's going to be a lot of effort. But I, I also know I'm, I'm going to get rewarded for it. But there's also going to be some complications surrounding the whole thing. I'm going to have to... It's going to be a lot of work. Um, a lot of work for the next 10, 11 months, to be honest. Because I'm, I'm going to have to prepare now. And then I'm going to have to actually travel. And then there's so many things I'm going to have to figure out once I'm there, right? Like... Uh, so many like small deep like you know it's like different house wares I'm gonna need right, uh like setting up a bank account like that that kind of thing that I'm all, all those kind of th things that I have to set up, um, and especially because it's gonna be out the country. Yeah, so that's what I mean. It's gonna be a lot of great life experience too. Though I feel like I'm gonna learn a lot, uh, in general by doing this. Yes, it's gonna be a lot of effort, but I feel I feel like. I might just grow, you know, I feel like as a human being as well in general, like I might just grow into the person who I'm going to be uh, through this experience. So I don't, I don't think it's just going to be, I, I think it's going to be worthwhile from a long-term perspective, like from a short-term perspective. I, 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 I'm not looking forward to I am, but I'm also not. Like, I'm just like oh, it's going to be so much, right? And I could have taken the easy way out. I feel like, I don't know, I don't want to miss out on an opportunity that I've been given. And especially because I've been accepted anyway. I mean, at this point, I have to just go through go through with it all the way, right? I took the chance. I gave a, um, a, a, a letter. And I got recommended by my university. The university, the university accepted me. I took that chance. I got accepted, right? Um... I'm glad I had high enough grades to pull through. <laughs> um, and at, at this point, it's just, yeah. So I don't know what's going to happen with the YouTube channel. I, I, it's going to be a bit crazy. Uh, it, it definitely good news. But uh, I, I, I feel like... I definitely feel like in 10 years' time, I'll look back and be really glad that I took this trip. Right? But I feel like right now, no matter how much I know, I'm going to be glad in the future that I'm, that I'm taking this exchange semester. No matter how much I know now that it's a good idea uh, in the future, it, it still doesn't make it any less like stressful and a lot of things that I have to deal with uh, to get there. Now, of course, uh, my university, they, they, you know, we, I do have people I can contact for help or anything that I'm going to be needing of course that those services exist it's not that like i'm gonna be all alone like a lone wolf out there um but ultimately it is my responsibility at the end to make sure things work to make sure that i reach out to them to begin with for help if there's something i'm stuck on and obviously you know once i am in germany i'm gonna have to pass their exams <laughs> and considering one of the courses i've taken is in german uh i'm gonna i'm gonna have to hope that the course I've taken that is in German, that they can give me the exam in English at least, because uh, I can't freaking do German. But I'm, I'm, I'm not trying to do a, um, try and get like a, co uh, a German uh, language course thing, because uh, I believe I actually get like money for doing that. And uh, I try to learn the language with that as well, uh, a little bit at least, obviously I'm not going to be fluent but uh you know I, I did take some german in the past not enough that i'm particularly great at it but i have i have taken very very beginner bare bones german in high school so I... but okay mm. all right let's get to one piece my fault my fault for dragging this too much um that's been on my mind today so yeah big news there we go reveal to you guys in this lovely one piece chapter reaction <laughs> that hasn't even started not something you guys should bother with, but okay, let's get to the actual chapter direction. So, chapter 11 and 28, last chapter, we, I mean, I, sh I should say we arrived in Albaf, but really, Nami first arrived in Albaf in the chapter 11 and 26, but last chapter, we got to see Albaf in full, basically, as in the full star, right? We got to see um, half of the Straw Hats, right, with Luffy, I mean, the main, the main five, the, the, the East Blue Five, as I like to call them, that's not a name for them in, um, that's not a name for them in the official community, but that's what I like to call the the East Blue the, the East Blue Five, right? The ones up until Sanji, and then Chopper onwards are Grand Line uh, Straw Hats. So um, here we are. Despite them also not being necessarily from the Grand Line or East Blue, like 
Robin is not from the East, from the Grand Line. She's from the West Blue. And Sound is not from the East Blue. He's from the North Blue. But you get the point. As in characters that were invited when we were on the East Blue saga, in the East Blue trip. And even though Robin is from West Blue, she was in the Grand Line when she joined the crew. That's that's the whole thing. Anyway, anyway, I've gone really... I'm, I'm a bit, doing a terrible job at actually in this chapter reaction. I mean, today, today has been such a hectic day, uh, day, as you can clearly tell, mentally for me at least. Uh, so... Uh, this has been a bit more difficult than usual, but yeah, we finally got to Albath. We see gigantic animals, uh, you know, going crazy on Nami and Usopp. They're struggling to fight against them, but Luffy, Zoro, and Sanji come in for the save, and uh, that's where we end off the last chapter, basically, right? They save them against this big uh, cat thing, and there was a porcupine looking thing. I think it seemed looked like a Pokemon, but it's hard to tell. It's a it's a One Piece animal, okay? We don't have to relate it to a real animal animal necessarily. Uh, <laughs> um, so yeah, let's get to this chapter. Uh, this chapter is called RPG. What? As in, you know, rocket launcher, or as in role playing game? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, are we talking? Um, Uh, what are yeah um so i don't know you know what rpg we're referring to here but uh sure let's get to this chapter and uh, it looks like we have a color spread i think uh, let's see i'm clicked on the chapter now it's not loading oh yeah there it is oh it's definitely a color sp spread Ooh. Purple dragon in the background, definitely giving unlimited world red vibes over there. Uh, the riding brooms, are they like uh, wizards? Which is, I mean, which is? Which is, is a gender neutral term, isn't it? It was just made to. It was just made f uh, feminine based on like fictional stories and stuff like that, right? But I believe it's it, it was initially like a gender neutral thing, as in like men could also be called witches. I'm not. Don't. Quote me on that, don't count me on that. I might be wrong. I might be wrong. Uh, but ooh, wait a minute, Robin. I really like Rich Robin. I mean, we really like Devil Robin, but Witch Robin is a vibe. Yo, it's not like, per like the Perona vibe. Now it's different now because Perona is more like Gothic Lolita. Now, now, this is now, this is an interesting Robin look. Who does she remind me of? I don't know. But she's not like an emo witch girl. But she she's, has a lot of dark colors, like black and purple. Like, like These are common like witch colors, right? But she's also smiling, and he's wearing those glasses. And she's, look at the way she's smiling as well. It's always great to see Robin smiling, by the way. Like, as a character, you, she rarely smiles super, super happy like that. So when you see her smile like that, it definitely, definitely warms your heart for sure. Uh, especially considering what, everything she's been through, right? I mean, she's not always the character that will that will be the first to smile like that. Uh, but okay, which Robin? That's cool to see the dragon background. Okay, and we have Frankie uh, riding a witch, uh, freaking broom scooter. Uh, Nami at the front there. Okay, uh, <laughs> freaking <laughs> Brook and Chopper upside down on the room. They clearly they they have not figured out the controls of that. Uh, Zoro hasn't been borrowed to, to uh, get on the broom, he's just on top of the dragon, pause. And then in the back we have Sanji standing on the broom and Usopp just barely hanging on. Sanji obviously trying to get Robin's attention. Not, not sure how that's working out because Robin's full attention seems to be on Luffy here. Uh, and then they, in the, on the bottom you can see the little cityscape uh, below them. Really, really cool color spread, thank you Yoda for this. Uh, this must have taken a lot of time and effort. <laughs> uh, okay, mm, based on request, the Straw Hats having a volcano top barbecue with a dragon. Wait, what? Where's the barbecue at? I didn't see more barbecue. Okay. From Hebo, S. Oda, and uh, the Straw Hats as magicians flying through. Magicians, okay. Flying through the sky with black hats from Honey Liquor. Okay, Honey Liquor. <laughs> One Piece, okay. This can't be a dream, says Sanji. There won't be any men in it. <laughs> and now he says, What kind of dreams are you having? <laughs> Look at her face. <laughs> She's not having any of it. Sanji's holding her like, Oh, 
like a night or something, right? And she's like, gosh, darn, this guy's disgusting. Get me out of here. <laughs> what kind of juice are you having? Here goes Nami. Oh, is that Sanji? Oh, just just Sanji just flying away. Get pulling away. Geppo, time to jump. Ah! Nami screams. Okay, so they're jumping away. Where's Jumpy flying off to? I don't know. They seem, seem, they seem to be going to that tree. That massive tree over there. Is that like similar to the Adam Adam tree? I wonder. I wonder if that's similar to the uh, Adam tree. Because um, I don't know, like, I, I'm, I just think big massive tree in, in one piece and I just think of uh, the Adam tree. But I don't know if it is or not. Okay. Um... Okay, moving on. My fault, my fault, y'all. Um, all right. Look, look how it crumbled again. What's crumbling? Oh yeah, the castle on the right there seems to be crumbling. I woke up on the other side of that town. And walk towards all the noise to find him finishing off this huge rabbit. You could have beaten that cat lion, Usopp. It woke me by, it woke me up by eating me. I was freaking out. To be fair, yes, it. You know, the first time we did see you last chapter, Usopp, you were in the mouth of that cat lion thing. But also, after that, you started running away, bro. So come on, bro. You, you, you could have done better, Usopp. I'm with Luffy. Luffy Usopp could have done better. Come on. It's, we're in Alpaf. We want to see you become a great warrior, Usopp. Come on now. Okay. So here's what I think. Look at Usopp's outfit. Holy crap. I stare to Noblex. <laughs> in my view, these are Alpaf warrior clothes that we've been dressed in. Why have you been dressed in this though? What happened to the other giants earlier that you guys were sailing with? But there's no way that Elbaf, the land of giants, would have clothes of our size. Ooh! Usopp makes a great point! So, have you guys been turned gigantic? Or are the giants all small? Or have they given you size, one size fit all clothes? Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, you know? <laughs> <laughs> or just just tiny people clothes. So you're saying this is Elbath, but we've been turned into giants? That's what I'm thinking. Like, maybe you guys are giants now? I mean, it's hard to tell if you've been turned gigantic, but also everything around you has been turned gigantic. Would you really be able to notice that you've been turned gigantic to begin with? Actually, you probably would have. You probably would. I'm just thinking f physics. If I just think physics, right? If you've been turned gigantic, that means your mass increases. Surely your body would notice that. Your muscles... Yeah, yeah, you're, you're just thinking about, like, Newton's laws and stuff. Now, you'd notice all the extra pressure and force and stuff like that. And the added mass. Like, you'd notice the added mass on your body if you've been turned gigantic all of a sudden. Right? Even if everything around you has also been turned gigantic. Right? Oh, wait a minute. No, because if the forces are equalized, then you wouldn't notice, really. Huh. Then you wouldn't really notice if you're gigantic, but also everything around you is gigantic anyway. Yeah, okay, okay, okay. Interesting theory, so, okay. But also, this is one piece. We've seen time and time again that we shouldn't necessarily be thinking too deeply about physics. You know, we are real world physics don't have an always applied in one piece uh you know I, or else stuff like gear third would be kind of question questionable i mean but okay okay let's uh, let's let's move on this can't be a real tree says nami uh, okay i think there were people in town we gotta ask her around to get to the bottom of this says zoro look how huge it is we'll never reach the sea at this rate Okay, you're right. Let's go into town. If others from the crew are here, it's probably not all of them. How can you tell? Robin's not turning up on the 
Me radar. <laughs> Your dog now? <laughs> nah, nah, he's got, he's got a pretty woman radar, okay? <laughs> That's what he's got. <laughs> the me radar. Uh, and he's sniffing as well. <laughs> okay, let's go and ask for help. Uh, they say. Sanji's off with love hearts. Luffy's excited. Uh, Usopp seems to be excited too. Zoro's just walking casually. Alright, and Nami is a little bit further back and then she's, she's, she's hanging behind for some reason, but I guess she's gonna follow along. Alright, let's go and ask for help. Adventure! I mean, that is a class. This is classic One Piece, right? Like, we might be nearing the end of the series, but we're still on an adventure. We're still in Albaf, and Albaf is an adventure. We've been waiting for this arc for a thousand chapters now. Uh... Almost a thousand chapters, like 960 chapters or something since Little Garden. So, 24 years, ladies and gentlemen. Let's get to it. Albaf, here we are. Woo! Why are you so excited about this? Have you not noticed how freaky this place is? We're out in the wide open and there isn't even any breeze. Hmm, interesting. That, that, that's something with the environment. Okay, no breeze, okay. Ah, uh, cheer up, Nami! You still got me! That's definitely Sanji. Alright. Huh? Something's coming, says Zoro. Huh? What? What? Ew! Gah! Gross! How is it so gross? Both jumping about. Whoa! Says Luffy. Easy, easy! You guys near around here? Yo! He's riding some caterpillar thing? What is that? <laughs> That's so cool! It's a grasshopper. It's a grasshopper. I call it a caterpillar. I call it a caterpillar. <sighs> Guys, 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 relax on me, okay? I may, I, I may, I may not be the best with the bugs, okay? I may not be the best with bugs, okay? I did just say caterpillar. I, I did, <laughs> it's clear, like, more, definitely more clear gra grasshopper. Ah, no bugs! Okay, <laughs> so, so Sanji and Nami completely backed away. This makes sense, actually. Because if you think, remember Jaya when they were trying to gather that bird, they get that bird? And Nami's freaking out over the bugs. That makes sense. And Sanji, okay. Who are you, man? Where are we? You seen our crew? That's a lot of questions. Sorry, I'm in a hurry. No time to stir around and talk. But I can tell you this, he says. All of this vast land you see belongs to the sun god. Yeah, they have a lot of gods going on here. Obviously, Songa, you know, Nika, we know about that. But they in general have a lot of gods. Last chapter, they were talking about some... What was it, Ear God? Some Ear God? Some other God? Like, Albaf is obsessed with this idea of having these various gods. Which I'm not sure if they're actually gods or just people that have been glorified as gods. Kind of like Enel. Uh, so as in human beings that have been glorified as gods. Or like... Yeah. Uh, I'm not too sure. But they question that uh, him. God? I serve the ruler of Bigstein Castle, Master Iska. Okay, Bigstein Castle, yo. We're, that, that almost sounds like a different name that I don't want to say that. And if, if you know, you know, bro. Master Iska, okay. Huh, there's a person at the castle? No, it's a cat. Or is it the cat we were you saw earlier that we, that Luffy and the rest just beat the crap out of? Oh, sorry. I actually just... <laughs> he so closed his mouth. You might call this the land of gods. Ooh. Kind of contrasting the land of gods, Marie-Joa. This is the land of gods, Albaf. Okay. Okay, yeah. Luffy did just beat up his master. Uh, just let, let's not tell him about that. This land belongs to the sun god, though. But he says all of this fast land you see belongs to the sun god. So the way interpret that is the entire of Albaf. Belongs to the sun god. And within Albath, there's like smaller gods here and there, right? Like the ear god, whatever that is. Whoever that is. And it doesn't even like this master is cat. Cat first dude thing that we just beat up last chapter. It doesn't even like he's a god. He's just some ruler of a castle. So he's not a god. He's just a, a ruler, a smaller ruler. Which I, I, I'm assuming has a lower ranking than the gods. I should be leaving now. Look at Nami. <laughs> She's like, we did just beat up the cat lion thing earlier. Mm, stay silent. 
Oda's so good with those facial expressions. He loves doing this exact facial expression that he's just done with Nami right here. He loves doing that. And the snot coming out of her nose. <laughs> I'm sure the needle god. Ooh, needle god. See? I'm sure the needle god hedgehog is looking for its food. See? I don't know needle god. But there's so. See, there's different gods going on. I swear we saw that like last chapter talking about various gods here in Albaf as well. Right? Yeah, last chapter. They were talk I, I just looked at last chapter. Was the son of the ear god collapsing? They were talking about the last chapter. Impossible! It's a, apparently a rabbit. The ear is apparently a giant rabbit or something. Okay. Uh, moving on. Um. I'm sure the needle god hedgehog he hedgehog is looking for its food. Needle god. I'm running a bit late to feed it because their ear god, a giant rabbit, was found burned to death near the town. Burned to death? Oh! That was... That, that may have been us. That may have been us last chapter. <laughs> if you're hungry, you should go into... Town to get your father. Hmm. And they're all just just whistling away. Do, 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 do. We have nothing to do with that. And Luffy just is up shutting Luffy up. And let me warn you: you must never venture in the other direction from the castle. Huh? Why not? In the other direction. The Sun God's temple is there, guarded by vicious soldiers. None have ever approached the temple and returned alive to speak of it. Oh no, don't say it like... <laughs> uh -huh. Yeah, you should not have told Luffy that. He's immediately gonna go... He's gonna go right at you, bro. Bro. Bro, bro. Okay. And Luffy's away. Get back here! Yep, Luffy's just gone straight to it. Straight to, away from the, the castle. The, the, the Sun God's temple, uh, temple is there. Okay. So he's going to the Sun God's temple. Got a vicious soldiers. And Luffy's straight away. <laughs> Hey man, thanks for all the advice as you saw. Oh, and Nami says, sorry for everything. <laughs> she does like a cutesy, cutesy expression. And he's, uh, he's really charmed by that. Huh? <laughs> he's charmed by that, like, whoa. <laughs> Zoro then calls vicious soldiers, huh? Zoro's also interested. If he acts that way because he feeds off your energy, you should be ashamed. <laughs> huh? Rubble? Oh, these guys. Oh, he's this guy, bro. He's just noticed this. The, the straw has caused this, but he's too late to notice this. Nami's running behind them. Alright. Hee hee hee! I smell adventure! Vicious soldiers, gods! Wait, Luffy! There's so much space! <laughs> no homes around here? <sighs> How long does this, does this path go for? Is it just me, or does that castle look just like the other? <sighs> just like the other? Hmm? Someone's running this way. He's wearing Albaf clothes too. Oh, whatever. I'll just dodge and run past him. Bang! Oh! It's just like whole cake. Luffy's about to fight himself in a mirror version of himself. What the heck is going on? So what, this place is mirrored? And they're also saying that this castle is the same as the one behind them. So I guess it's like a mirrored place they're at. Again, we're bringing back, el el back elements from Whole Cake. Ooh, look, there's a big crack in the middle. Kind of like a white beard still food, actually. What the? The sky just cracked? 
Yo, they're all running past. Yo, oh, by the way, Sanji came in Nami. Yeah. Hey, what just happened, Sazoru? Huh? Luffy's got knocked out though. Ah, look, the sky's splitting over by the temple, but also on the other side. What's happening here? The kingdom is in chaos today. Oh my god. Huh? So wait, what does this mean? And they're all just looking at, thinking at this broken sky glass thing. Uh huh. And behind them, there's like some smoke. This this is clearly a giant-sized room. Okay, okay. So they're definitely not gigantic. The straw hats aren't. They were. They were not. They've not been made gigantic. They are still tiny, as they should be. We're not inside the LF ship, right? Says Zoro. Yeah, they had no cameras like this one, says Usopp. What's this netting? Huh? There's just like something in, in there. If there are giants on the other side, then we're nothing but pets in an enormous cage. Oh no! Hey, what was that noise? Are you. Wait, what the heck? What was that noise? Are you on my side? Please, come and save me. Right, so Luffy's just crashed through. Okay, so Luffy probably just saw... Luffy probably just saw himself. Like a mirror of him, uh, The mirror, like, straight, not a sky mirror, just a mirror straight up. Ran into himself, crashed through and landed there in that on that table. Please come and save me. <laughs> Huh. Hmm? I'm trying to look at this room that Luffy's in here. Uh, okay. Wow! Oh! Chopper! I'm so happy to see you guys! Yo! And Nami goes in to hug Chopper. Is there anyone other than Chopper here? No, it's just Chopper. Oh, poor Chopper. You're safe now. Oh. Good bonding between Nami and Chopper here. Okay. And I couldn't get a collar off because the metal was too hard. And I thought I was gonna die. Ah! Now you owe me one. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> you think Nami cares about you? <laughs> now she just wants money from you. She's gaslighting you, bro. She just, she's like, she's just a fake, fake taking care of Chopper, and 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 now and now Chopper, Chopper owes her one. Now Chopper, you you owe her money, bro. <laughs> no Chopper. If it was any other Straw Hat, uh, who who uh, which other Straw would have called the Chopper in this situation though? Not not Luffy, Zoro, Sanji, is up. I don't think he'd call it like this. Chopper needed the Robin, bro. Robin would have called it. Robin would have hung out with him. Maybe a brook or something. <laughs> no, now he just wants money from you. Now you owe me one. Huh? <laughs> That's so funny. Uh, uh, hey, you're crying at the start too, says you saw. <laughs> Talking to Nami. So these are human sized clothes in a giant's room. Are they supposed to be like dolls clothing? Says Zoro. Look at these though. Is this this is this sun god a super delicate artisan or what? Hmm. It's all blocks, says Luffy. It's, it's like a Lego Lego room. Yeah, that's what the kingdom was made of. When we roasted that rabbit. The nasty smell it made. Oh, nah, y'all. Oh, nah, y'all. <laughs> Had to be from the synthetic res resin burning along with it. Just look at that. Uh, the edges were mirrors that made the scenery seem to go on forever. Yeah. Oh, it's see-through. But from this side, it just looks like glass. What is it? Some kind of magic mirror? Right, so from this side we can see through it, but from the other side it seems like a mirror that reflects everything around them. Nami, I call dibs on the next shift cleaning the women's cat. <laughs> so I'm just gonna take this mirror technology to use. Oh, it's see through from one side, and then on the other side it's a mirror reflecting them, which means that. If you put the mirror in the women's bath, then 
the women will see themselves in the mirror, see the reflection of themselves, and then from the other side, it's see through. So if you're a creep like Sanji, you can see through. Uh, <laughs> so I'm just like, I call dibs on the next ship cleaning the women's cabin. Don't you dare try to install those. <laughs> Zoro says, so basically, some giant with poor taste decided to build a kingdom of blocks and toss a bunch of humans and animals in to see what happens. Well, that sounds crazy. Yeah, it's creepy. But does that mean we're already in Elbaf? A giant's house inside the land of giants? Woo, we're here already? All right. Nami then says, but we don't know that for certain. All we know is that a giant did this. We need to get outside to be sure. Where's everyone else? Let's get out before the giant comes back. Such a classic won't be sting, right? When the strides are all split up. But this time they've actually reunited fairly quickly. At least a good chunk of them have. The, again, the East Fleet 5 reunited fairly quickly. Typically, like, they immediately get split off. It's just, uh, and which they have here too. But it's like, how have you guys split off to begin with, bro? Crazy. Hmm. We should go back to town to ask for info, just in case. This person might be a weirdo, but we want to avoid friction with the giants if at all possible. Got that, Luffy? Don't. Um. Okay, but can I at least beat this one up? <laughs> ah, destroy it! Okay, it's a snake, giant snake thing. All right. <laughs> what the heck is going on with Nami, yo? She's just jumping, it's like screaming. Okay. <laughs> oh man. Squeeze, squeeze, down there, mice, giant mice coming after them, and a raven overhead, oh dang, are these the temple soldiers, what about this place looks temple-ish to you, <laughs> hmm, it could be a temple, it could be what that giant earlier considered the temple, if you've already eaten a rabbit, then you might as well whip these other animals, <laughs> I mean, yeah, if, especially if they're coming after your life, Ra! Kya! Hmm? There's some guy walking. Yo, is this the pestilence? Who is this guy? Yo, I like his design though. The, what is that mask he's wearing? Or is that a mask? Yo. Stop playing around, you guys. Just finish it off. If the sun god comes back now. Hmm? <laughs> That's too much, Luffy. I wasn't the one who spread the fire from the hearth. <laughs> Wait, what? <laughs> so is this guy gigantic by the way or I wonder if this guy's gigantic or if he's the same size as the straw hats let's see well but might find out soon if he enters the door what my sacred temple so is that the sun god ah yeah 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 okay loop is gone gear 5 he's already uh, going crazy and yeah the guy is gigantic this i'm gonna call him pestilence for now because i just just from his design and he is gigantic like i suspected and Usopp's not the same like hmm? so that's the sun god right this guy talk of his sacred temple which i guess is just his house his cabin <laughs> uh or whatever look out luffy the sun god's back we gotta run go mugen Okay, so the raven got beat uh, by Zoro. Gum, gum. Oh, he's about to go crazy. Oh, don't beat up the pestilence. Don Pistol. Okay, he's Don Pistol. The uh, oh, look, you see the fist going through the snake. All right, now we have the mice to take care of. I'm not already taking care of the mice. I'm guessing they're already taking care of the mice. Hillman Garder. Oh, okay, these are yeah. This entire thing screams Norse mythology, right? Like, it screams Vikings. The names, as well. Mugen, Hilman, Garder. Oh, yeah, bro. This is the most villain saga One Piece is gonna get, bro. Like, hell, yeah. Get inspiration from, you know, Scandinavia, Iceland. Go crazy, bro. This is this is definitely... Like, we're gonna be talking about Valhalla and stuff out here. This is the kingdom of, of warriors. <laughs> Luffy's laughing. <laughs> Hurry, Luffy! That giant seems especially huge, and it looks creepy. Zoro's running, okay. 
we're just going gear five right away though. Like we we're used to opening up these uh, arcs, we're literally just going gear five at this point. I mean, it's just become a norm now. That like, he's just gonna go gear five against these monsters. Okay. Which I'm glad though, because something that people always complain about, not just with One Piece, but with any anime manga, is like, why doesn't the main character just go like full power right away? Like, why does he waste time doing this and that or whatever, right? Like, just go full power from the start. Like, you wouldn't be struggling if you just gone. We've seen you be stronger than this before. Why are you like, why are you weakening yourself? Why are you warming up like this in the middle of the fight, bro? Okay, moving on. Oh, the giant cat is back. Oh. Yeah, bonk! Oh, they bonked the cat again, and, and they're using, they're riding him. That's crazy. It's saying, "I'll get you for this." Meow. Duly noted. Anyway, look at this. <laughs> meow. The cat's crying, bro. I feel bad for it. I didn't find anything worth money, but huh? Are those the plans to the plot kingdom? Meaning a map? Here he comes. Says Zoro. Is the song god coming? How dare you bring ruin upon my kingdom, yo! He's way bigger than the cat is. Hold on tight, folks. If you run straight, we should hit another mirror. Break through... Okay, so Nami's doing her navigating thing with the map. Break through that and the wall behind it and we'll be outside. Nice. Yes, time to escape! Oh no! Oh. The sun god is in a defined fury! Wait, are those giants? Or just normal sized guys? Because compared to the, the Sun God, they're pretty tiny. But they could still be larger than the Straw Hats. So I'm just trying to think, or are they just regular people? It's, I'm just trying to think, like, how do, how did the size relations work here in Albath? The Sun God says, You shall not escape! Dun dun dun, the imposter Sun God, I should say almost, because Luffy, we know Luffy's the real Sun God. And that's the end of the chapter, y'all. Um, okay. Um, more more introduction to Albeth. We finally got the first out of the non-Grand Nine Strides in Chopper. So now most of us technically are gathered. Uh, still missing Frankie, Robin, Jim Bay, uh, <coughs> and Brooke. But um, we'll see what happens. Oh, we're also missing Bonnie, Kuma, and uh, Lilith, obviously. Let's not forget those be those three. Uh, but you know, the straw hats are the main concern. I feel like for now. But that's another chapter. I hope you guys enjoyed this chapter uh, as much as enjoyed reading it. I don't know why the chapter is called RPG. By the way, I'm just thinking about it now. Like chapters called RPG. Like why? I'm, I, I, is this a, supposed to be a role playing game? Like is this house that the, is, I guess is the giant. The, the giant built this house that's supposed to be a role-playing game, I guess. He's like, the giant is doing a role-playing game. I'm not too sure. But, yeah. Um, I'll see you guys next week, because there's another chapter next week uh, for more One Piece. Hopefully you guys enjoy watching this at least as much as I enjoy reading it. I'll upload this this very second, now that I've finished recording it. Uh, so it's going to go up live on YouTube. Not live, but, you know, immediately after this. So, yeah, have a good rest of your Monday. There's only... Well, by the time this comes out, it's only going to be a couple of minutes left on Monday. But have a good rest of the week. I uh, hope you have a, had a great start. And uh, yeah, I'll see you next week, which will technically be this week, because the chat will come out this Friday. We'll see if I'll be able to read it on Friday or Thursday, or if I'll have to wait until, um, until, uh, until s Sunday, though. But yeah, I'll see you guys next time. Alright, y'all. Peace.